Hi, this is Katarina Flore, founder of Fit for the Top. Thank you for joining me on this personal development journey. And it is my privilege to have a very short discussion, yet very powerful, with a wonderful lady, uh, the founder of the Battery Speed Group, and uh, the developer and the originator and the creator of a transformational coaching model, the E-Matrix, that had an immense impact on my life and on many, many others throughout the globe. And this short interview is part of my series, Effective How To Do's for uh, High Performance and Well-Being. And because I meet this lady, on a regular basis every year and she's growing young every year. More energy while in the same time impacting even more lives on this planet and developing new coaching tools that help people create immense success and be fulfilled. And I was wondering how easy it would be for her to share some of her tips that help her be having this amazing energy, amazing presence and energy uh, while growing young and did I mention that she's also a grandmother. She doesn't look like but she is. So what is your secret? What are a few of your secrets that we can share with our audience throughout the globe? We can help them. When you, when you asked me to do this interview, Catalina, I was actually thinking about that. And through my, my own personal development journey over the years, I discovered that there is an emotion that can really serve all of us in, in becoming younger, staying younger, feeling younger. And that is the emotion of, or the feeling of forgiveness. I, you know, when I've worked with so many people in so many cultures and countries, I've discovered that when when we hold anger or we hold um, you know animosity or resentment for other people, that it shows up in our vitality. And I know most people don't realize that, but when we when we're unforgiving, we're creating so much tension and frustration in our own physical bodies that we're aging ourselves far beyond our years. And, and at the, I didn't really know that until a few years ago and through a number of experiences myself, I realized that as I learned to forgive, and as I practice forgiveness of myself, especially of myself and other people, I realized that I have more energy, I have more vitality, and I know that might not make sense at all, and yet, Every time I have an experience like that, or I've some through an experience like that, people say, oh my God, you were so And so I want to encourage anybody who really wants to be their optimal best, is that forgiveness is a practice. It's something you learn to do. It's something you decide to do. And there's so many tools available to do that. And so I would encourage um, people to, you know, if you don't know how to do it, there are exercises available. You can, even if you just go on the internet and you look for forgiveness meditations or forgiveness exercises that can help you let go of the things that tense your body or tighten your body. And even though we're not aware of it, it really has a cellular and physiological there is another thing that means there is something about your presence. You are one of the most congruent persons I know. You are authentic. You are okay with who you are. You do not have to prove anything. It's just what you see, it's what you get. <laughs> and one of the things that I, I, I do this interview here with lots of noises, music on the background and parents and everything is that because also, I'm about being authentic yeah. and being with whatever it is around us and just focusing on where our intention is. So, how do you cultivate authenticity? How do you get to this place? Uh, for me, I think that it begins with first being honest with yourself. 
And, and that doesn't mean beating yourself up. We, we, we do way too much of that. But being honest with yourself about how you feel, not judging your feelings. If you're angry, you're angry. Be angry. If you're frustrated, be frustrated and make it okay. And learn to accept where you're at just for the moment. It doesn't mean you have to stay, even if you're sad or depressed. If you want to experience that for the moment, just allow it to be. Instead of judging everything you do and everything you feel is either good or bad or appropriate or inappropriate, it's kind of like trust that whatever you're experiencing in the moment is what you need in the moment. It doesn't mean hang out there forever. It doesn't mean dwell on it forever. It just means allow it to be what it is instead of judging it as unacceptable. It's funny you say that we were talking just yesterday about you know, the principle of least resistance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One maybe to go on this? Well, I actually think it'd be wonderful if you would share your perspective on that. Because, uh, you know, if I am to push your hand, yes, we push back. We push back, but with least resistance. And with least resistance. Now, we will start moving or not, which is flowing. And the energy, because everything is energy, transforms. And we create a space that is free and that can, anything can emerge. beautiful that that you bring up that point because that's what we do with our emotions we resist them and when we resist them we create the tension to manage them and, and control and contain them and that's what creates so much of the tension in our physical bodies and that tension is what it really often causes us to look older than we are you know we've had so many experiences where we're just working with one individual and all of a sudden they get an insight or they feel uh, they feel better about themselves or they let go of some frustration or anger and all of a sudden everything about them changes it's the muscles on the legs blow the, the blood is flowing it's it's, it's, uh, it's amazing and i saw you um, well having interaction with people and helping them transform and yesterday you were working with somebody that appeared to have to be stuck in their body in his body and his body was very intense and there are lots of people that repress emotions right? so they don't feel and they say I, I can't feel a thing but they are very intense control what would you recommend to these people corporate people that work hard there's a lot of stress yes and you know it's a really what interesting thing um, <laughs> it's as funny as it, it may sound something simple that they can do is take a deep breath oh oh you know just I mean, it's I, not always easy it's, it's not always easy and it, because we get into habits of doing things one way and we forget to do what's healthy and normal and natural so just taking a moment to just take a really deep breath because your body needs blood it needs oxygen to the cells and the muscles and as we go at such a rapid pace and we're breathing so shallow and rapidly we're creating tension in our body because we're starving it for the oxygen and the blood flow that it needs so a deep breath and one of the things that about really feeling young and staying young is movement and I and that doesn't mean go work out if you love to work out by all means work out but if you love to walk, walk. If you love to run, run. If you love to dance, dance. Just move your body. So do something that you something love. That yoga is beautiful. Tai Chi is beautiful. Anything, anything physical that you enjoy. Anything. And it's just to create that every day so there's flexibility and fluidity in your body. And that, and that really causes you to get more oxygen as well. So, you know, movement and breathing, you do that and you learn to forgive yourself and others and I have, and I just really believe that you're going to have a happier, healthier life. And, you know, because I, 
experience firsthand your amazing um, magic in the change work. And you have developed beautiful, beautiful models that people can benefit from. When people are more interested to learn about your methodology or to get in touch with you, where can they go? Where can they find your information? Um, the, my, my website is changethematrix.com and that's matrix just change the matrix.com. Right. M-A-T-R-I-X. M-A-T-R-I-X. Change the matrix. So please people, I never recommend anything before I try it and it is my mission to come up and help you with magic that I experience in my life and um, this is one magic, one of the many many things she, wonderful things she does. So please if you want to learn more about the art of growing young from this amazing lady, go to her website, learn more, cultivate. And in any case, learn to forgive, be authentic, be there, don't resist, <laughs> just go with the flow and move, just move, breathe and move. And from Palm Desert, from this wonderful hotel surrounded by parrots, music and water, we uh, tell you live with passion, enjoy life, until next time, all the best.